ISO is the sensitivity of your sensor to light. Um, in, uh, in the old days, you would buy different types of film. So you'd buy, if you knew you were going to be shooting in dark conditions, you would maybe buy film that had a high ISO, meaning that it was more sensitive to light so that you could get those, those dark pictures. Uh, these days, it's just a setting on your camera, which is really, really nice. You don't have to take out the film and put in different film. So the lower the number, you get the best pictures, best quality images, but they also require the most light. The higher the ISO, you can get away with darker lighting conditions, but uh, you know, which is good if you maybe your ambient light's low, maybe you don't have any strobes, maybe you have strobes, but you're taking a picture of something really far away, so your strobes are going to do nothing for you, um, or maybe you're just trying to save on strobe power. You know, maybe you you're going to be on a long dive, you're taking a lot of pictures with the strobe, and you're like, well. I'll make my sensor a little bit more sensitive, I'll compromise and take a little bit of noise in my picture in exchange for my strobe lasting longer because now I don't have to turn the strobe up as high. You know, the sensor's twice as sensitive, well, I, I can turn the power down on my strobe and save, save juice. What do you mean by a little bit of noise? We're going to talk about noise in the oh, next slide. okay. Alright, so what's noise? Oh, so apart from noise, you can also get reduced dynamic range, which basically means the, the, uh, the range between your dark and your brights in the picture, so that can get kind of squashed. And then you have, like, your color sensitivity isn't as good. So overall, the image is not as good on higher ISOs. So here's an example of noise, right? On the left, you've got ISO 100. Most cameras, that's the minimum, is ISO 100. Some are at 80, some are at 50, but it's around there. Uh, and then uh, here's an example at 3200. So you've probably all taken a picture at some point that looked like that. That's what it is, that's noise. Um, Different cameras perform differently at ISO levels. So, for example, if Sony has this new A7S, since the S stands for sensitivity, practically shoots pictures in the dark. Um, I think it goes up to like ISO 500,000. Uh, ISO 3200 on that camera looks awesome. Like it looks like a normal picture. You know, it probably looks better than ISO 100 on my on my compact camera. So you have to test it, right? Like get your camera, take some pictures at different ISO levels. See what they look like, and see like what you what you can uh, tolerate, right? Because if you're like, wow, ISO 200 to me looks the same as ISO 100, I can't tell any difference. Then maybe you want to shoot at ISO 200 and give yourself a little bit more light to work with underwater. Uh, and I know people that don't shoot at the lowest ISO all the time. They they they're like, I can't tell the difference, so I shoot at ISO 400 and give myself a little bit more light to to work with as a buffer.